In 1991, Tupac got his first real taste of trouble when he was stopped for jaywalking in downtown Oakland. According to Pac, the police officers didn't take a liking to his name, so they said some unfavorable things. Pac in return responded, and the result was him being arrested and brutalized. This incident led to him filing a $10 million lawsuit against the city of Oakland. It wasn't long afterwards that Tupac released the first of his six albums. The first was entitled Tupacalypse Now, and it highlighted Tupac's passionate political and thug life side. Songs like Trap, while politically on point, stirred up much of the controversy when it depicted an Oakland police officer being shot at the end of the video. This particular song caught the attention of Dan Quayle, who expressed his outrage. Other songs like Brenda Got a Baby brought attention to the emotional and heartfelt side of the rising star. Tupac gained national fame when he played the role of Roland Bishop, a violent, insecure, short-tempered, psychotic individual in the blockbuster movie Juice. Initially, director Ernest Dickerson had invited Digital Underground's Money B to audition for the movie. Tupac went along for the ride. Once there, he read the part Cold Turkey and was hired to play his role, which left many wondering if Tupac was acting or just being himself. As Tupac's popularity began to soar, so did his troubles. In the summer of 92, while attending Marin City's 50th anniversary, Tupac and his entourage had a confrontation with some old acquaintances. During the ensuing fight, a gun was drawn, shots were fired, and a little six-year-old lay dead as an innocent bystander. Tupac's brother Mercedes, who at the time rapped for the group Tony, 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 and later for Thug Life, was arrested in charge. Eventually, he was let go for lack of evidence. Tupac Tupac later found himself embroiled in more controversy when a Texas cop was shot and killed. The widow of the slain officer filed a multi-million dollar civil suit against Tupac, claiming that it was his music and lyrics that influenced the young perpetrator to kill. If that wasn't enough, also in that year, Tupac, while visiting the set of Fox TVs in Living Color, had an altercation with a limo driver. The result was him being arrested and charged with assault. Eventually, the charges were dropped. Seemingly, wherever Tupac went, Trouble followed. First, Tupac found himself being charged with assault after he and a group of friends beat up the film directors known as the Hughes Brothers. This incident stemmed from him being fired from the movie Menace to Society.